Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of a BAP dictionary or data dictionary. And our new topic is table buffering. Firstly, we will understand the concept of buffering or buffer. Then I will come on to table buffering in terms of SAP. What is buffer? Buffer is always, always a temporary storage. It is never a permanent storage. And in this real world, many times we listen that term buffer. Many times we are using that term buffer. Suppose simple example. I am watching some online movie. Whenever I will watch the movie online, so yes, I might face some interruption. I might face some delay. But if the movie is buffered and I am watching the movie with the help of buffer, at that time, there is no delay. There is no interruption at all. Suppose simple example. I am watching the movie and the interruption happened at one hour, four minutes. But the movie from zero minute to one hour, three minutes is buffered. So if I will watch that part of the movie, there will not be any interruption. There will not be any delay because I am watching from the buffer. I am watching from the temporary storage. So response is always, always good. Now you can simply, simply understand if something is from the buffer, at that time, performance is very good. Response is very good. That's why we are going for buffer. But yes, it is always, always a temporary storage. It is never a permanent storage. Now, same thing. Now we will apply to SAP now. Yes. Now, whenever we are, whenever we are going for table buffering, what is the main, main advantage? Yes, to improve the performance. Now, what is buffer in terms of SAP? Buffer is a temporary storage onto which particular layer application layer. We all know we have three layers in the SAP architecture. Presentation layer, application layer, database layer. We interact with the SAP system through which particular layer? Presentation layer. We are writing the programs or we are writing the applications through which particular layer? Application layer and database layer is used to store the data. Your table data is on the database layer and database layer is a permanent storage of data. But buffer, buffer is a temporary storage onto which particular layer? Application layer. It means whenever we will store that data, whenever we will store that table data in the buffer, it is always, always on the which particular layer? Application layer. And it is a temporary storage. Now, buffer always improve the performance when accessing the data records contained in the table. Now, we will understand this concept by the example itself. Suppose we have this order header table. This order header table we developed. This is the data of order header table. This data is permanently on which particular layer? Database layer. Suppose simple example. Suppose I want to display the details of order number one. So how we will do? We all know we have three layers. What is the second layer if I will write here? Application layer, database layer. So, sorry, presentation layer.
suppose i am interacting with the scp system through presentation layer so i put order number is equal to 1 yes i put order number 1 through presentation layer but this order number 1 this input i gave on to which particular layer application layer application layer so now suppose i want the details of order number 1 so this order number 1 input will go to which particular layer database layer it will access or it will fetch the details of this order number 1 and data will come on to which particular layer application layer and i will display suppose after one hour i am again want to fetch the details of order number 1 then again this input will go to which particular layer database layer it will fetch the details of this order number 1 and data will come on to which particular layer application layer suppose after 5 hours i am again giving the input 1 the input will go to database layer it will fetch the details of order number 1 and data will come on to this application layer have you seen what we are doing every time the control is going to database and the response is coming to application layer i know this is a very frequent operation in a particular day i am fetching the details of order number one suppose 10 times so what is the best way where what is the best way to achieve good performance rather than every time going to database layer what i will do first time i will go to database layer i will bring this order number one into the buffer of application layer itself yes first time it will go to database now from the database i will simply simply store this order number one into the buffer of application layer now just see after one hour whenever i want to go for order number one so simply simply the output will come from what buffer itself temporary storage there is no need to go to database suppose after five hours i want the details of order number one again so this output will come from the buffer itself there is no need to go to database yes and just see how the performance how good the performance is because there is no need to go here response will not come whatever is there it is on the application layer itself just compare it to your any real world if something is in your local memory yes the response is very very good performance is very very good same thing is here we simply store that table data into the buffer of application layer and why we did this to achieve the performance now i will read the theory so that it will make more more sense now buffer is a temporary storage onto which particular layer application layer yes it improves the performance when you access the data records of the table just now we took the example we are accessing the data records these are the records of the table now sometimes we need to access a particular set of records more frequently than others and this is real world our some operations are always frequently suppose some operations we are doing frequently on a daily basis so it is always good to store in the buffer just now we took the example 
this order number one, I am doing 10 times on a particular day. So it is the most frequent data I am using. So it's good that I will store in the buffer. So whatever the most frequent is there, always, always store in the buffer. Now, accessing records directly from a database table can be very time consuming. If you are every time accessing from database table, means from the database layer, yes, it might be time consuming to overcome this drawback, whatever the frequently access records are there, we should put in a buffer so that we can access very, very easily. Now, what is the full summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the concept of buffering, table buffering. Buffer is always, always a temporary storage. It is never, never a permanent storage. Your database layer is a permanent storage of data. Application layer is always, always temporary storage of data. So in case of buffering, yes, we will store that data on the application layer. Now, why we are going for buffering? Because it helps us in improving the performance. Yes, sometimes we have the most, sometimes we need to access a set of records or sometimes we have need to access frequently. So, suppose some set of records we want to access frequently. So yes, if every time you are going to database and coming to application layer, yes, it is very time consuming process. So to overcome this particular drawback, whatever the frequently access records are there, always, always store in the buffer, always store in that temporary, always store in that temporary storage of application layer. And yes, once you store into temporary storage, yes, at that time performance is good. So the main, main advantage of buffering, table buffering is to achieve the good performance. Now in the next video, we will see where the table buffering is available, what are the various types of buffering. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.